Hey everybody, Jen Crevasse here from Jekyll Bates. It is a Monday morning. I have not done a proper workshop update in quite some time. Um, primarily because I'm just getting back from Land of Mickey. Um, that's pretty cool though. I've, I've got a couple of things that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, one is a question that I get all the time because I'm sure that as I'm showing you guys my workshop updates, you see these and you also see these hooks just to let you know one of the most common questions I get asked is where do I get my bulk hook deals so the the obvious answer to that is that I don't um, I don't buy bulk um, one of the things that I pride myself on at Jekyll Bates is giving you guys quality hooks quality split rings so I take the time and buy the real deal so for example my stock hooks are Bill Lewis set locks okay it's either Bill Lewis or it's VMC's now the VMC's come in 25 packs of black nickel stainless steel and you can get those from Rapala which owns VMC um, but you're gonna pay a little bit more than if you get stuff from China that you have no idea where it comes from or who makes it there's no real uh, safeguards or, or checks sometimes you get them and the hooks are all messed up so just to confirm with you guys, these are not bulk hook buys. I think the lowest grade I've ever used have been the Eagle Claw. Um, these are a very good VMC black nickel. And then the Bill Lewis set locks must add as their parent company. So just so you know, these are quality hooks. Now I obviously have a whole host of other selections that you guys can choose from. You can message me everything from trocars to gamagatsu to owners some of the finessier stuff is in here as well um, i think 2016 and 2017 has seen the introduction of the word finessier uh, but you get like the aaron martins and, and some of the thinner wire gauged treble hooks the other thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about and then these are the hand tied feather trebles that i use that are not inexpensive either um, okay, so repaints. This is the season. The tournaments have wound down. Everybody's into holiday mode. They're thinking about all their chewed up gear that the fish have bitten on and then maybe some repaints and some better custom jobs. So just for an example, this happens to be in the shop. I just got it sent to me by uh, one of my clients. I'm going to be doing some custom colors on this for them. But one thing that I want you to pay particular attention to is the way these things come out of the box. Now the box, I just opened it up. Um, it's over sitting over on the spray bench. I got four of these. But look at all the junk paint that gets left on these baits. And look at how nasty that looks. Eventually that's going to make a divot in your split rings and in this eyelet. And it can catch and not swing freely. And if it doesn't swing freely, there's an opportunity you're going to miss that fish, especially if you're a tournament angler. So what I take the time to do here at Jekyll Baits is pull all that junk off of here for you. And it's just going to give you a much smoother, better hookup ratio. I've already done that on the nose eyelid. I've started the process on that. You can see this one has been completely cleaned off. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that when you guys are getting custom repaints from me, you can see this has not started yet. But look at all that crap on there. You don't want that on there. Um, you're going to get a pro job and pro colors. And uh, the work speaks for itself, y'all. So happy casting. Thanks for taking a few minutes to listen to me. If you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them in the section below. And we'll see you guys on the water. Happy Monday.